Oh, oh, we got another airplane coming in. What's up, guys? Camel Korean here, fishing with my buddy Juan over there, doing some kayak fishing here at Lake Nona. It's a private lake here, only resident and club member access, so I'm very fortunate that uh, I got a buddy that lives here, so we can hit up this lake. And yes, this is my first time out here. So, um, we had a few bass hookups, but uh, didn't catch any though. Uh, two off a of chatterbait, and he had a hit off a water plopper over there. So, uh, that's what we're doing right now. Water is pretty clear for the most part. Got a lot of cloud cover. Probably won't rain too much, but we'll see. I'm just throwing everything I got. See if we can hook up on anything. See what these bass want. Try to figure them out. And uh, hopefully we can catch some. So guys, stay tuned. <laughs> There's a lot of this stuff on the bottom. I don't know. Just trying to figure this place out. Oh, dang. I had another one on. <laughs> Jeez. It got off. I didn't even know it was on. It was a little guy. So what I'm doing here is I'll cast along the edge. And I try to keep my distance. So kind of know how far you can cast. And then keep that range. Because the further you're away, the better your chances are from hooking up. And so I'll cast like right in front of there and I'll let it sink. I'll count one, two, three, four, and then I'll start to reel. But I don't want to let it sink too much or I'll get caught up in the grass down below. You know what I mean? See, I like how the wind's pushing me along the edge here. So all I'm doing is casting right in front of the grass, letting it fall for three to five seconds and then reel back. A lot of times you're going to get hit right on that grass line because the bass are hiding in the grass and they'll wait till something passes by and they ambush it. And uh, both of those fish that I hooked on they were both right at the edge too. Hey, you want to go back in here? You want to go back in here? Yeah, it would be good. It looks good. Oh man, chain prickle. <laughs> Cheat. All right. Wow. Got me a chain pickle right here. Jeez, I ripped his nose. I ripped it good. <laughs> you caught it with the. Chatterbait here. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. No, I just don't want to get bit. That's all. Goodbye. Look at that thing. I think I knocked it out. Look, you see it right there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was a fish I caught. I let it go. Oh, really? Yeah. It was like floating upside down, and now it swam, swam off. Yeah, I'm going to let you use a chatterbait. Seems like I've been getting the most action on it. I'll put you on a similar color I have. I think there's a bunch of pickerel over here. I keep on getting hit.
I actually saw a video on YouTube of some people that fishing at all the ponds here. Oh, really? Yeah, they were catching a bunch of bass. All the golf course ponds. All right. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's a chain pickerel kind of day. All right, it got off. First bass of the day. Hey, Juan. A bass. Check it out, guys. First bass of the day. I was thinking all I was going to catch is pickerels here. All right, right here. Off this little, uh, I think it's bass crashers. Little swim bait here and my brim blue or my brim colored uh, chatter bait here. Oh, right here. One pounder? Eh, less. Alright, guys, let this guy go. Nice. guys biggest bass of the day probably a pound and a half two pounder here look at that look at that nice thank you got him good he wasn't going anywhere all right guys we got 115 here one pound 15 ounce nice two pounder let's let this guy go there we go There we go, another bass for the books. Another skinny little, probably under one pounder. Boy, am I ripping these lips, look at that, nice. All right, third bass of the day, second, uh, yeah, third bass of the day, fifth fish, pretty good. Nice. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I lost that one too. Oh man. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow, man, what is going on? Why do I keep on losing these bass? All right, another one. Man, these all these bass are skinny. Look at that, guys. Another bass. Finally hooked up after missing three of them. Jeez. There you go. Nice. Let this guy go. You catch anything? I missed three and caught two. You got three? I missed three, caught two. Great. Yeah, just hit the grass in front of the grass along the edges. That's where they seem to be at. Well, guys, we're going to have to head on out, but it's getting too choppy out here. The storm is approaching, but we are not done. We're going to do some pond fishing here in Lake Nona area but uh, just the four hours of being out here I had a pretty good time um, hooked up on uh, a lot of fish but was uh, able to pull in only five and you guys seen the action here chatterbait was doing some work today other than that we're heading back in right now unfortunately my buddy over there he uh he only had one hookup, and from the looks of it, it looked like it was a solid three pounder there, but he broke off. He tried tying his own knot the first time, and it didn't turn out so well. So in the process, lost the uh, rage blade right there, but it's all good. It's all good. He said he still had fun out here. He definitely wants to come back out here again. I was just trying to show him how I was fishing and everything, and you guys see it, I was just getting hit all over the place with uh, pike, or no, not pike, uh, the uh, pickerel and bass. So good stuff here. But yeah, we're just heading back over to this pavilion here at the boat ramp. And uh, I just got the chatter bait trolling with that. Maybe hook up on something, maybe not. But other than that, I will see you guys when we get to the pond. Let's see if there's any bass. There we go. First cast. Check it out. Does do fish have teeth? Yeah. Where are they? Fill them. You want to fill them? Where are they? Right here. Fill them. You see it? I don't want to fish. Why? You don't want to kiss it? No. No? No, they 
they feel good. Check this out, guys. They might First fish at this pond here over at Lake Nona. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. I knew this crawfish would do it. All right, guys. First pond bass here. First fish. I knew it was. I knew I was going to catch something on the first cast. <laughs> I, I told you they love. They love these crawfish. You know what? I don't think I was recording the whole time. I don't think I was. Damn. Yeah. It was two good catches, man. Can I just start fishing? I'm good at fishing. All right. My buddy caught his first bass today. There we go. Give me I want to All right. Small one. Hey, a fish is a fish. Right, got it on the chatterbait too. That's the one that. See all it, one of the things is you got to have confidence in the baits you use. You don't have confidence in it, you're not going to catch anything. Isn't that the one that you got on the first cast, Corey? Right, buddy. Isn't it? You want a picture of it? Yeah, why not? Oh, finally, Corey, my first one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just make grabbing tight. Soup. You feel the teeth? Yeah. All right, little buddy. There you go. Go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Here. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, it was awesome, man. Yeah. Ajax. All right, man. Thank you for coming to my place. Yeah, Appreciate definitely. It. All right, I'll see I'll, you later. I'll see you in the, in the job. All right, man. All right, man. Thank you. Bye. All right. I'm still fish for a little bit longer because I still want to catch some more bass. There we go. Little guy too. <laughs> wow. bass. <laughs> Don't try to fly away. Well guys, I think I'm done here. Sun's kind of got me burnt out, but I had a pretty good day with my buddy. Took me to a new lake, Lake Nona, plus this uh, pond here in their neighborhood. Got, a, uh, got to catch a few fish. Plus a chain pickerel, which I don't run into too often, which was pretty cool. You know, in the lake, it was them chatterbaits. Everybody was eating brim, I'm guessing. Bluegill, panfish, whatever. Here, basically Texas rig crawfish. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. Pretty good day. So I'm happy with everything. Besides losing several of the fish. But it was pretty awesome action though. Quite exciting. And my buddy, he lost, which could have been the biggest catch of the day. Uh, but that's how it goes sometimes. So guys, until next time, tight lines and keep fishing. See you on the next one. Later.